I'm here with Pete from Ninja Block. They've created an interesting little gadget that hooks up to your Wi-Fi network. Pete, tell everybody out there what this little gadget does. This is a little piece of open source hardware that you can chuck on your network and then it provides access to developers to all sorts of low cost um, sensors and actuators that you can buy from say Amazon. For example, you can get these little remote control power sockets, three for 20 bucks off Amazon and then hook them up and control them from an app. Um, you can do temperature sensors, motion detectors, all sorts of switches and buttons. It's, uh, if you think the internet should be a button, we, uh, we enable that. Nice, nice. Now, I can uh, monitor this stuff on a computer, iPhone, iPad, right? Absolutely. We are just a web service that, that spews out your data, authenticated. You can provide access through OAuth to uh, third-party developers that create really interesting uses of all of this data. Okay, cool. Now, uh, tell me how easy this is to hook up to the network. You literally plug it in, plug it directly into your router, and uh, you know, you're online. Nice, so it, auto, it kind of does all the handiwork for you, right? That's right, and as long as you buy the, the right kind of devices, at the moment we support uh, a really low tech, 433 megahertz, which is really cost effective. Um, but over time we'll be adding Zigbee and Bluetooth and Z-Wave and all the other kinds of things you find around your house. Nice, now uh, you were mentioning uh, that there is an API available. Uh, how easy is it to work with the API and what are the advantages of working with the API? Yeah, so the API completely abstracts the devices. So you can uh, build an app that just uses motion detectors, detectors, and then you can. It doesn't really matter what the actual user has in terms of motion detectors. It's totally normalized. Um, it has. Uh, we have no JS library and a Ruby library, but it's a pure REST. It's very RESTful interface, um, and because we have a proper OAuth. Uh, we're, we're an OAuth endpoint, it means that once the user's on Ninja Blocks, it's really simple for you as a developer to get access to their data. Nice. So if I wanted to uh, go out and get a Ninja Block right now, where would I go? You go to ninjablocks.com slash buy and put your name down to pre-order. Next batch coming in October. Um, we had a Kickstarter back in February of like the prototype version and totally sold out. In fact, we oversold and we had to go around to anybody that we knew on the list and uh, tell them you're not getting yours. Oh no. Um, how much is the device? We're selling it at the moment as a kit for 200 bucks and that includes uh, a Ninja Block with the RF all baked in. You get a bunch of sensors, you get a button, a motion detector, a magnetic switch and a temperature sensor. Very cool, very cool. Now there's a lot of people out there that couldn't make it to TechCrunch today. You got anything to say to them? Uh, you probably don't have as bad a hangover as me. The after parties were a little yeah. bit ridiculous. Okay, Pete, uh, thank you so much, and I wish you the best of luck at TechCrunch. Thanks a lot, man. Thank cheers. you.